All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Love Again Show. It is Prediction Wednesday, Vikings Steelers. It's Prediction Hump Day. Let's get it right. Prediction Hump Day, and the Vikings favored by three points. What the hell? They are. Well, I mean, are we gonna lollygag? We're gonna hop right in this thing because uh, this is an interesting one. Let's 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 go balls deep right away. All right, I'm, I'm fully expecting all the pregame picks to go the way of the Steelers. The Vikings are coming off a loss to the Lions, uh, so it makes a ton of sense. But that being said. I just feel like this is one of those games where the Vikings are going to surprise everybody and play a lot better than expected and maybe even win this thing. What do you got? But I'm still <laughs> going to pick the Vikings to lose. I just don't trust this defense to hold any kind of a lead right now. The Pittsburgh Steelers, no matter what they are doing, under Mike Tomlin, it's a team that's never really down. They're always fighting until the end. A team that can storm back. The Vikings are up by a couple of touchdowns uh, even in the second half. So I fully expect that to happen. I'm going to say the Vikings do lose another close one. 28 24. 28-24, yeah. I mean, Vikings still got all those guys injured. Steelers coming off a good high. Vikings coming off a very low of lows. It would be typical Vikings fashion for them to come out and also just blow out the Steelers or something, give us false hope once again. But I'm not buying into it. I'm not buying into it one damn bit. I think the Vikings come out even flatter than usual. I think their souls are broken. And I think they actually, uh, I don't think it's going to be close. Uh, I think it's going to be 26 13 Steelers wow. Vikings lose another one and just put another another little nail in that coffin. Let us know your predictions down below. If that happens, I predict it will be Meg Zimmer's last game Could in be. purple. And I also predict everybody should keep their skull in their hole. <laughs>